Yeah. Get rid Blackberry had a keyboard. Get rid of the, the keyboard. Why? It's, just, it's actually very small. You need to use two hands to operate a Blackberry. Okay? And then in the when you use an iPhone, you use the the best tool of the human race. Your finger. You just point. Again, that's an aspect of design. They, th they thought about it. Okay, how will people use this phone? They're going to use their fingers. Not pointers or arrow keys. Fingers. Okay, so Apple th thinks about, okay, then if people are going to use their fingers, that means the icons have to be finger size. It can't be too small, it cannot be too big, it has to be just the right size, finger size. Yeah? So that's how design aspects uh, really made the iPhone really popular. Now, coming back to my story. So why is it so important? Because, uh, design thinking is important, just because of that. Yeah, that story. Not because of Apple, but a lot of things in this world, when you want to create when you want to create innovative products, if you want to get 
really out of the box products that really you know something new that people uh, that is the not example which is that's what people say it's out of the box the best way to do it is through design thinking so that's why design thinking is so important any questions i'm so far i'm just talking about design thinking yeah? i've been talking about on page one any questions? now okay so this exercise this Anyway, uh, part of the freshman year program, uh, you will have an introduction to design thinking. That's what we're all about today. Yeah. Uh, now I have to show you this video. If it's working. This is Kevin Susan. He's the Chief Green Officer and Google and CEO of Mula. He's also alumni at the International Accounting and Finance. Kevin Susanto, an entrepreneur who has received 71 billion rupiah from Jakarta-based venture capital firm Alpha JWC Venture. This is Michael Chauvin Sugianto, the founder of Tani Hub, Alumni Information System, an entrepreneur who has received $70 million from Midi Ventures from Telcom Group in May 2021. All of you can be the next Kevin Susanto or Michael Chauvin Sugianto through your learning journey with FIDER in Binus University International. Go find her. Find coffee. Find you. Coffee shops always full. Tired of going to the same coffee shops? Go find her. Find coffee. Find you. <laughs> 
This is Usama, just finished college and starting on his journey on some chips. Problem is, no one's buying it. No exposure in the market means no sales. Ah, but what if he hired some help to spread the word? You know, social media influencers. This is going to cost him a lot of money, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. No. Wrong audience, wrong influencer, and wrong market equals no sale. So, what's a guy to do to easily and safely spread the word on social media? Introducing Influx, an application to get in touch with the right influencer at the right price. After that, you just need to create an account, start your ad campaign, fill in the marketing campaign details, and then we'll direct you to the best influencers for the job. Just watch as your followers, and of course, your sales rise through the roof. You can download it in the Google and Apple App Store. Well, that's what you, you guys are going to do for this box, this special box, yeah? So, uh, it starts with this, yeah? You need to find an idea or a product that you want to do, okay, which is that idea, yeah? And then you study it in detail, yeah, that means that involves research. We're gonna talk about that later on. How do you imp then you think about how to improve it? You create a prototype. A prototype is something that is a make believe, yeah. That is a that uh, shows what you're trying to do. You show the prototype to 100 people, and then you finally make the product, and so on and so on. Now, it's a long process, okay. But you guys, for this design thinking exercise, you will stop here. Okay? So this is, actually, this is your first assignment in Venus, yeah? You will do this, but you will stop here. You need to show the prototype. Any questions? So far. Please ask questions if you have any questions, yeah? Stop me. Watch it. All right. And we call this the cider challenge. Okay. So today you're here. Okay. You need to to spot it. You need to think about. Okay, what are you guys going to do? What your group? Sorry. What your group is going to do? Yeah. You will find an interesting problem in society. On September 12th, you need to solve it, meaning how are we going to do this within your group? Okay. And you will think about an app. Okay. On September 14th, you will sell your idea. I think, if I'm not mistaken, in the lobby. Any questions? Questions? Okay, so this is the challenge that you will, all of you will participate in. Yeah? On the 16th of September, yeah? You, uh, is it actually the exhibition? Or? Okay. 
for the 16, you need to prepare when you show your uh, prototype, yeah? Uh, it's basically a creative exhibition of your innovation. It has to be innovative, yeah? And we'll talk about that. Yeah? So you need to create an X banner. You know what an X banner is? Anybody knows? Or does anybody does not know what an X banner is? It's a standing banner. Sometimes you see it in coffee shops, you know, with the poster that stands, okay? So this is the size of the X banner. If I'm not mistaken, uh, your group needs to finance this yourself, but it's only like 60,000. So if there's six students, 10,000 rupiah each. Uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, in Tokopedia, you can order an X banner very cheap. If you are uh, in need of doing it very fast, you exit the building through the back door, and then you cross the streets to Estes Esnayan. There's a Snappy there. Yeah, and Snappy can also make X banners. Okay? Anyway, let's, let me continue, yeah? So it will be conducted in the lobby. You need to prepare your X banners. Uh, and a one-page information of your project, okay? Each group will be provided with one table. So there will be groups which, which pro I assume they have existing groups here. Yeah? Okay. So you, you're already involved in some sort of group management here. So each group will be given one table that is to for your use, okay, to to promote your prototype. The best project, so there will be people who will be, uh, what do you call it, evaluating it, and the best project will receive a prize, okay? So a group is consisting of four students and max six students. You need to uh, clarify how each person is in the group, yeah, is working, that what is your, their job? Well, I will talk about that, yeah? It has, whatever you do, it has to be creative, it has to be innovative and fun, I guess, yeah? That all depends on your perspective. Yeah? Okay, so, about job distribution. Yeah, so usually in a group, there are designers, yeah? They do research on a certain issue, create compelling information about why the issue is important, blah, 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 blah. So uh, design thinking or, or any kind of thinking, actually. Technical thinking, design thinking, system thinking, all kinds of thinking usually involve some sort of problem, okay? Like when Apple designed the iPhone, Steve Jobs said all the current phones suck. That's the problem. All phones suck. We need to create a better one. Yeah. So there's always a problem out there. Okay. So your group, yeah, the designer will be will be uh, doing that. The coders will create the marvel. So uh, one of the suggestion is for you to use an application called Marvel. So what is Marvel? Marvel is an app for prototyping. It's free. I think you need to you need to uh, register, blah, 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 blah. You can download it. But anyway, using Marvel, you can prototype a phone application without doing any programming. Very easy. Okay? So your job in the group, as a group, is if you choose to do the, to do, to do the app, is actually create a prototype using Marvel. Yeah, Google Marvel. Yeah. Now, there's also a should be, there should be a project manager that has to manage the team members and so on and so on. Any questions about this? So, from this slide, this is how you will create the prototype, yeah? You, the suggestion is for you to download Marvel it is, yeah, you, unfortunately, unfortunately, you need to learn how to use it. It's going to take you minutes or hours at most, yeah. 
But using Marvel, you can actually prototype other applications. So it doesn't have to be like a working application. It's just a prototype. A prototype is just a, a design of it. You may show some function, functionalities. Like for example, if you click this button and then another screen pops up, that's it. Yeah, you can easily, uh, you can easily uh, do that in Marvel. Yeah. Questions? Okay. So today, yeah. This is what we will do today. Let me just continue about this. Yeah, quickly. Uh, so what you need to do in design thinking is you need to understand the problem. First of all, you need to decide what problem you want to do as a group. So we will give you time for your group to discuss. Yeah? But you really need to understand the problem. Yeah. And what you, if you understand the problem, that is actually on the next step. You define. You actually define. Oh, this is the problem. Okay. And it, when, when you're trying to define the problem, yeah, uh, then how do, you, how do you solve it? Is um, you brainstorm. This is what diver divergent thinking is about. You brain you you within within your group you, you do your brainstorming. Okay, how do I just, how do we, what should we do? Okay, you're gonna get through brainstorming. You're gonna will you will get lots of ideas from your group from your team members. But then you have to decide. You know what? Okay, we stop. We stopped about brainstorming. Let's decide which idea is the best. Okay, so you're gonna go from a problem to potential solution solutions not one as many as possible some maybe some solutions are really wild so that's what your brain uh, what is that is what brainstorming is about yeah uh, I suggest we'll talk about that later yeah I, so so you, your group has to be really really I don't know what do you call that uh, effective yeah as a team yeah and then together in your team, you find out, okay, let's stop brainstorming. Let's just decide, okay, which one is the best idea. And then uh, <coughs> from this, yeah, you, 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 you find out your idea and then you create a prototype. So you stop here. But anyway, this is like the whole design thinking process. Any questions? Okay. Now, these are potential themes for the problems that you want to use. Now, Indonesia is part of uh, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. And as a country that participates in SDG, uh, Indonesia and, and many other countries is supposed to alleviate or solve these problems. The problem of poverty, problem of hunger, good health and well-being, quality education. So these are some of the world's problems that the United Nations is trying to solve. A lot of problems, obviously. Yeah. So the world still has a lot of problems. And you can choose your idea or your topic from one of these. All right, up to you. This is just a suggestion. Any questions? All right. Let me continue from one more slide. So you will be, once you decide, yeah, uh, once you decide, then you create a brief. Okay, this is our decision we're going to do in this problem in this area, blah, 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 blah. So you create a comprehensive information of your topic, basically just one page. That's, what, that's how comprehensive it is, very easy. 
Okay. Uh, one page as shown, a poster or a short video, whatever you fancy. Yeah. You explore some possibilities and you will upload this. You up you will upload this to Microsoft Teams. There will be a group that is being set up. Are you uh, are you brief on Microsoft Teams? Is this a, it's a software? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So I'm sure uh, if you open your Microsoft Teams, there you should be already invited to a group. Yeah. And that is when you open that group. There's a file section. Uh, I'm sure there's a folder with your class like EMM blah 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 blah. Maybe even your group. I don't know because I'm not in the team. So anyway, you upload it there. Any questions? So it's not for today. I'm ta I'm, I'm talking ahead here. Yeah. That is an example project. And later on, when you want to uh, create the Marvel, the prototype, yeah, this is a, a wireframe. This is like a design. Very, very rudimentary design. Anyway, so let's go back to this. So you should, now that you have your teams, yeah, why don't you decide? What do you want to do? I'll give you, I don't know, how much time do we need? What do you guys need? 15 minutes, okay? So you can, we can take a break and also for you to discuss. Is that okay, sir? What, what time does it end? 12 10. So yeah, 15 minutes. All right, so we'll take a break. A lot of you are like sleeping already. Uh, yes. They have what? Oh, okay, okay. No, I mean break so they can, they can move around. Okay, so that clock says 11.27, yeah? So 11.45, I'll give you 15 minutes, yeah? You will need to discuss with your group. Okay, 15 minutes. So 11.45, I will be back here again. And by that time, you should already have decided sort of what areas you want to do. Is everybody clear? Okay. Are you comfortable with your groups? Do you know everyone by name in your group? If not, you should take that 15 minutes to get your group better to know them your, your members better as well okay okay so we'll let's start now yeah this is your time i'll give you until 11 45 using that clock yeah you can discuss it in this room you can discuss it outside it's up to you but this is what you have to do you have to choose okay and then think about questions when we come back I want to hear questions from you. Okay? Okay, go ahead.
Okay, um, it's 11.45, yeah? let's uh, start again. So I assume those who are in the room that you have picked a topic, yeah? Have you picked a topic? Yes? So can you share with us what topic have you chosen? Quality and education. Quality and education. Uh, who are in your groups? This one. All right. So the group, uh, the next group in the back. Hello. So have you picked the topic? You guys have picked a topic. What? What is it? Sorry. Number two, which is zero. Oh, zero hunger. Okay. Okay. Thank you. How about how about this group? Zero hunger. Oh, are you in the same group or different? Okay. So yes, you can. By the way, multiple groups can actually choose the the, the same area. It's it's fine, but your solution has to be different. Yeah, which is important. So your solution, you can. You can uh, choose whatever whatever areas of SDGs that you wish, but again, your solutions have to be different. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about next is once you have chosen a topic, okay, so what do you do now? Okay, so what do you do? And I think the best way to explain this is not telling you what to do, but maybe show you some examples, okay? Now, <clears throat> there are many kinds of problems out there, yeah? Uh, these are problems, obviously, but behavior change or changing people's behavior could also be a problem. For example, let's say, let's say, yeah, is that you want, the problem is this, you want to make people healthier. Okay? That's a difficult problem because if you want to make people healthier, one way to do it is for them to exercise more, be more active, okay? Now, making people more active is actually changing people's behavior. I cannot go to a person like you, hey, you should be more active. I cannot do that. It has to be coming from you. Yes, I want to be more active, right? Or another way to do it is you create an environment that sort of pull people to be more active. Yeah, psychologists know how to do this very, very well. Yeah? So, let's say that is the problem. The problem is you want to make more people active. An example is we have two elevators here, right, in the lobby. And you want to make people, instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs. Why? It's healthier. And it saves electricity as well at the same time. Okay? But as a person, you have two options. The problem is you are now the building manager of this campus, how do I make the students more active? By taking the stairs instead of, instead of the uh, elevator. Yeah, that's the problem. Now, you can, you can campaign all you want, you create posters, but that's not, I don't think that's gonna be effective in making people take the stairs instead of the elevator. So I will show you 
a solution. I think this is this happened somewhere. I think in Sweden or somewhere. I forgot. Okay, so this is an MRT station somewhere in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken, yeah? So the MRT station has escalators this is to, to go up to the street, yeah? Just like the, the MRT station here near FX, Sudirman, yeah? But the, the idea is how to make people, instead of use the escalator, use the stairs. Okay, that's the problem. Let's see what they did. All right, got the idea. So that's an example of a very creative and innovative way to change people's behavior. What did they do? They made it fun to take the stairs. Okay? So it's not about campaigning, but it's really how to make people behavior change is by making it fun to do it. Okay? You, you want another example? I'll show you another example. If I can find it, yeah? Okay, let me give you some background. So, this is this happened. This is a this is a real. Uh, it's not a made. Of, it's it's a. There's a real fact behind this. So this is actually. Um, it happens in in the Stanford University campus. Yeah. So Stanford University actually requires all students to study design thinking, even though if you're studying medicine. Yeah, so even doctors have to study design thinking. But anyway, so when Stanford started design teaching design thinking, Coca-Cola, the company, um, what, what does Coke sell, Coca-Cola sell? Actually, it's just soda with some coloring, a lot of sugars, and some taste. Yeah, it's actually very unhealthy. So 
now nowadays since a lot of people are having they realize oh i need to have a healthier lifestyle coca-cola is having a problem yeah their marketing department which is they came to stanford hey guys can you help us we are losing sales okay coca-cola is losing sales all over the world the number of people drinking coke is declining obviously they don't like that yeah so they came to stanford and then coca-cola said hey guys can you come up with a solution for this yeah can you come up with a solution so coke offer a prize of fifty thousand dollars here's fifty thousand which is for coca-cola is it's peanuts it's, it's not a lot of money yeah it's not a lot of money it said look i'll give you a budget of fifty thousand dollars can you create a campaign to help coke and this is what the students came up with i'll show you right exactly there so this was very successful this this little this little prototype yeah and they and coca-cola tested in other campus in the uk even in india also very successful so there's a key word here happiness yeah Actually, what Coca-Cola did, if you saw the stairs, it was like making it fun. Here, Coca-Cola, all oh, the students, not Coca-Cola, the students say, you know what? The best way to do this is to associate the word happiness with Coke. And Coca-Cola loved this idea. The students were successful. And that's why they use this word this concept, not this word, yeah. The concept all over the world now, even today. Notice every Christmas or Labaran, Coca-Cola has a campaign. You have the Coke bottle where you can put your name in there. Why? Because Labaran, Christmas, that's when people are happy. Okay? Now, you guys are marketing students. I hope by this giving you these two examples, uh, you can see the importance of design thinking. Okay? Any questions?
Any questions? Now, we will go to a question and answer session. And I will use this slide as a back backdrop. This one. Okay. So what do you do now? You already decided, your group, yeah? Your group already decided on an idea, right? Okay, so what do you do? Well, what you have to do is you identify, now you have to research. What is the problem? I, I heard that uh, education, quality education, right? Okay. So now you have to think about this group, for example, they chose the quality education and they are the group in the back and also in the, over here shows about hunger, right? Now, do your research. What about quality ed education? Why is it a problem? Okay. So this is part of the understanding. Yeah. If you go back to the Coke machine example or the stairs, you really need to understand why do people, okay, let's say the stairs, yeah? Why do people take the, the, the escalator inside the stairs? You watch, you observe, okay? You observe. Uh, and then you probably can ask questions like, oh, if, if people, somebody takes the escalator, then you ask that person, why did you choose the escalator instead of the stairs? I don't want to get tired, it's faster, blah, 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 blah. That, that is your research. Understand what is the issue. You ask the question, do you realize that actually taking the stairs is healthier for you? Maybe they say, yeah, it's healthier, but uh, I prefer because it's convenient. Then once you understand the problem, you go to your group and say, okay, this is what people say. And then you think about, then you brainstorm. How do we create something that is, if people think the escalator is more convenient, it's faster, what, those are, those are the behaviors of people that use the escalator, yeah? What can we do to make, so people change their mind? And somehow, probably the group, you know, they brainstorm, they think, get, get ideas, yeah? And then somebody probably say, well, maybe make it fun. And then you ask the question, how do we make it fun? Can we make stairs fun? Actually, stairs are very boring, right? Then you brainstorm again, how to make the stairs fun. The flights to do this, to do that. Finally, they decided, hey, you know what? A stairs is like uh, a piano. Why don't we make a large piano? And that's the result. Okay? So you need to diverge. Diverge means divergent thinking. You need to brainstorm with your group. Okay? So the rule of brainstorming. This is the head, yeah? This is the tip, sorry, not, not the head. Tips. When you brainstorm, you go around each person in the group. Later on, you don't have to do it now. And then everyone should contribute. Do not stop. So when somebody is talking, don't stop them. Even though the idea sounds ridiculous, do not stop them. Why? Because that idea, however ridiculous it is, could trigger another person thinking, hey, you know, based on that, maybe we could do something else. Okay? Write it down. Write it down in a post-it note. And then you could put it on the wall. So that is what brainstorm. Look up on YouTube how to brainstorm. Yeah, so that's the rule. Do not stop people from talking. Take turns. Okay? And that's your divergent. Then you have to decide. Once you have your ideas, this is how to converge again. 
convergent thinking. You look at the poster, this is why posted notes are so powerful. If you, have, you put one idea in one posted note, yeah, and then you read it one by one, and most likely some of those posted notes are very similar. You put it into categories. Okay, this is like more or less the same. These ideas are more or less the same, this is the same. And then you analyze which one is the best one. Okay. I'm going to stop right now. Any questions? Questions? Yes, if you have any questions, please ask. Yes. Uh, you know how you said for the solution, we have to create uh, an app? Yeah, um, a prototype of a an app. Uh, should we? go doing that with the mindset of an NGO or a profitable app. Up to you. Okay. Up to you. It's your solution, not mine. Anyone have any questions? I think it's all clear. Are, are we clear? So uh, I'm not responsible of making the Microsoft team groups. I assume, I assume, yeah that it is being created yeah but if you have any if any questions you can ask your um the leadership here in this room yeah uh or you can ask me uh you 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 can you can provide me uh somehow my my email or, no okay yeah so so uh feel free uh to ask me uh or your the leadership in this room yeah the, the student leadership uh the student leaders so uh on the 16th if i'm not mistaken this is just a reminder oh sorry on the 12th we will meet again on the 12th yeah so i want to hear your ideas on the 12th So here today is just this the project brief the 12th which is one week from now you will have already have concrete uh, maybe some solutions or two yeah it's all time okay any questions last call questions i'm sure you will get this in your in the microsoft teams when it is set up yeah uh remember you have to create a prototype you have to uh, print an X banner, yeah? Very cheap, Tokopedia, yeah, you can do that. And uh, there will be a big expo in the lobby uh, where you will present your, your uh, solutions, your prototypes, okay? No questions, that's it for me? Okay, so uh, Thank you I'll leave so it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. So next on we have our documentation picture. So I think everyone should, yeah. Oh, di sini. Oh, di sini. Did these speakers in? Okay.
Aku suruh ke depan ya, yang belakang. Hah? Oke, okay, thank you so much guys. Guys, bentar-bentar, bentar. Tunggu ya. Sam sampai jam 1.10 ya. Next session will also be in main lobby. Jadi standby di sana ya. Thank you so much guys. Hah? Sampai 1.10. Oh, lunch sampai 1.20 ya, 1.20. Line up guys. Guys, please line up. Divide into two sections. Dua, dua 